Hello everyone, my name is Oshrina and I'm a product owner of Freshlot from Tanging Business Solutions. You might remember me from the previous videos I made about Freshlot roles, such as Freshlot stock request and the receiving. Today I'm gonna cover the last role of Freshlot, which is the production. What's great about production is that it allows you to track primary and secondary items that came from the lot that you have received. So you have the complete visibility of the journey of the lot and its items over the whole process of your business. Let me log in to the production environment by using my staff ID 101 and I will be using beef department as in all the other videos. Let's imagine that I, being in the front of the store, have run out of T-bone steak. And I have requested the production department to produce five pounds of T-bone steak for me. What you can see here is exactly the environment that the person working in the production department would see. So what he would normally do, he would click on the requested item in his requested items list and he would scan the lot that he's going to use to produce this T-bone steak. Normally, when you scan the lot, the lot number or the barcode is already in your app. And we know that we need five pounds of T-bone steak here. Now, normally, as I'm cutting meat, you would have the main item, which is the T-bone steak, but we don't expect the whole lot to be made out of steak. So normally you would have trimmings and scrap. So trimmings could be later on used for a dog food or for some sort of a broth or stew. So what I want to show you here is I will act as a scrap today. So by stepping on the scale, you can see that it shows you the scale reading in real time in the app. So you just click on the weight and click save. Now, same goes for the trimmings. So as I'm placing this item on the trimming scale, and we imagine that this is my trimmings, I can see the reading real time in my app. I click on it, save it, and that is it. The only other thing that you need to do is select the type of trimmings. So you could later on track it in your app and in your uh, backend or any other system that you use. Now, when we're done with this, we can save it. And going back to my items list, I can swipe and click complete. Now what happened, this item has disappeared from my list, but reappeared in the list of the person who requested it. So the person in the front of the store now knows that this T-bone steak is now completed and they can either pick it up or it can be delivered by someone else. And this is how easy it is to use the production role as any other role on Freshlot app. Thank you for watching.